you've got three options here. Option one, the drone and a controller. And this is just a normal kit that's gonna come with like a lens cloth, just the drone, a charger, things like that. Then you pay a little bit more and you get this really cool smart controller that comes with it. Or you can wait a couple of months and you get the model that just has the drone if you wanna use a remote that you already have. The two options at the bottom are accessory kits. So the Flymore kit, that's usually the way they sell these is just with the Flymore kit as your number one option. Here's my advice. There's a compelling reason not to get a Flymore kit with this drone. This this is really debatable now because normally you always get the Flymore combo for two reasons, the batteries and the ND filters. This time though, for whatever reason, DJI doesn't include ND filters in their Flymore combos. I got mine early and that's why I thought I didn't have them and I had to just tape on an ND filter from a Mini 2. Because I didn't get any, it makes me think they didn't have them ready yet. That's why they're not included. But anyways, if you want to buy them, you have to get them on their own from the DJI store. So because of that, that means really the only thing you're paying for is extra extra batteries that are like extremely crucial. Extra props, sure, if you wanna be safe, whatever. This time you have the option of just getting the most basic combo, just the drone, and then buying a second battery later on. You'll probably find it for like 70 bucks on Amazon in like a couple of weeks, which by that point when your drone gets to you, it'll be available. It's gonna be really annoying if you don't have a second battery. Trust me, you'll wish you had one. You don't need three or four, you just need a second one. Most of the time you film and then you only need another 10 minutes of flying to get the shot you really want, like at sunset or something. So that's debatable. And then the smart controller, the DJI RC. I've said before, this is something I really suggest you stay away from because it, it's flying business on an airline. Once you get a taste of this, there is no going back to the peasant life of not having this. It's easier when you don't know what you're missing out on to remove the third variable, which is your phone completely. You don't have to worry about people texting you, the battery dying, like unlocking your phone, turning it sideways and then flipping the app and then trying to fit it in the housing and then wiggle out that little cord. You just turn this thing on and then you turn on the mini and you can take off like that. Such a quality of life improvement. It's so nice to not have to think about an extra third thing. And you think it's not that big of a deal using the phone because I was one of those people. I was like, I'd rather just use my phone and save money. But this makes flying so simple and it'll encourage me to go film way more. And I, I realized this with the Mavic 3 when I got the Cinna, how important it was having just this smart controller to work with. It saves so much time and it's such a nice big bright screen that like, it's so hard to think of going back. And I think it's cool of them for people who absolutely want to prioritize convenience with the Mini 3 Pro. You want the smallest drone you can get that has the maximum ability, but you also don't want to be punished by being forced to use a phone. So having this smart controller is really, really a good option. And I can see it doing really well. It's also for businesses that don't want to have to make their employees, anybody who's using the drone, go download the DJI app, log into your DJI account. It's just ready to go like this. This model of remote controller, the DJI RC, is not the one that comes with the Mavic 3. That controller that comes with the Mavic 3 is called the DJI RC Pro. I've been in a serious relationship with that controller for about six months now. The RC Pro that comes with the Mavic 3 is for the Mavic 3, the Mavic 3 Cine, and the Air 2S. The Mini 3 Pro's controller is just for the Mini 3 right now. I had one of these early and I remember starting up the Mini 3 controller and it had the option to connect to the Mavic 3 or the Air 2S. Maybe that was just software filler because the Mini 3 wasn't finished yet. Something happened where it wasn't working well so they took the option away. I don't know what exactly it was but on launch you can only use it with the Mini 3 Pro. Maybe they'll add the feature later, I'm not sure. It's a little smaller, it's a little lighter, but it is still very big. It's bigger than my cell phone screen. The RC Pro that comes with the Mavic 3 Cine is bigger, more heavy duty, and it's just cooler. It also can run apps, so it's more like a tablet. It can run Firefox. The smart controller that comes with the Mini 3 only runs DJI Fly and nothing else. You can still like get on Wi-Fi and change the brightness, screen record, but its only function is to run that app. So it's not like you can go into Firefox and get on the internet. I'm just worried about saying that because the average person is an idiot and they're gonna say, oh, well, this smart controller doesn't do that one extra thing that the other smart controller does. Therefore, it's not worth it. That's not at all the case. It's still great to have this thing. It matches the same material that they use on this on this Mini 3. It's a little sturdier actually. And I have the thumbsticks off because I fly without the thumbsticks. The live feed is also 1080p for up to 12 kilometers. It's already doing a good enough job. I mean, I fly this thing so far away and the signal's super strong. I've, I've been behind a cliff and I haven't lost reception. So I'm very happy with how well it's performing. This is a really awesome combo and a, a lot of, I mean, the most fun I've had of every drone I own, this one has been the most fun to go test out. And to put it this way, I don't know anyone who would regret buying this. I know people who before 
before would think I don't need to spend the extra money. I'd rather put it elsewhere, but I cannot imagine somebody buying it and then thinking, wow, what a waste of money. It's it's just really cool. And it comes with, I guess, the territory of committing to having a good drone. It really does help to maximize the experience of an already convenient drone.